Hey everyone and welcome. Energy compliance forms are probably one of the most difficult to understand documents in the industry, which is why I decided to create this video because if you are planning on building a new dwelling, an ADU adding on or remodeling your home, then likely you will need to familiarize yourself with the energy compliance forms, officially known as the CF1R forms. Why do these forms matter? Building plans provide a detailed blueprint of the design and construction of your building. Energy forms, on the other hand, are the health check for your building's energy consumption that detail building components such as the insulation quality, heating and cooling systems, and window efficiency. Another part of the reason why it is important to gain a basic understanding of the energy document is that it influences the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing trades. So if you are a contractor in any one of those trades, the information in this video should be of benefit to you. How do you get these forms for your project? You have two primary methods. Option one, known as the prescriptive approach. This option involves using standardized forms that are provided by the California Energy Commission available on their website. And here's a quick rundown on where to find these forms. The link in the video's description will lead you to this site. And under the prescriptive forms tab, you will see two sets of CF1Rs, which are the forms required for permit submittal. And you will also see two sets of CF2Rs, which are the forms that are required to be completed by the person installing the building component that is listed in the energy forms, such as insulation, water heaters, and HVAC system. And to clarify, most all new projects, major alterations, alterations to HVAC systems, and additions require a HERS check, so the CF1R HERS forms is what you will likely need. But if your project does not require a HERS check, then you may use the non-HERS forms. And option two, the performance approach, is using one of three Energy Commission approved software tools. One of the software tools is available for free and the others are available for a fee. Hmm. And even though there are different methods to obtain your energy forms, the structure of these documents remains consistent across all projects throughout California, as established by the Energy Commission. I'll kick this off with the general information table. The general information table serves as the foundation for your energy compliance document. It provides a snapshot of your building's important characteristics as recorded by the person that prepared your energy documents. Now I will focus on the elements that have the most impact on the energy analysis and for the rest I will provide descriptor tags. First up, climate zone. Getting this accurate is very important as it can lead to under or overestimating energy requirements. The link to verify climate zones is provided in the video description and in this map you can enter the address or click anywhere on the map to get the climate zone number. Building type defines the category of your construction which dictates the applicable energy standards. In this example, it's designated as single family, therefore the residential standards apply. Project scope describes the nature of your project such as newly constructed addition or alteration. And each of those project scopes has its own energy compliance forms. The front orientation specifies the direction your building faces, which in turn affects your heating, cooling, and lighting requirements. This example faces 358 degrees, almost due north. Fenestration average U factor is a fancy term that tells you the insulation efficiency of your windows and doors. The lower the U factor, the better they are at keeping heat in or out which also affect your heating and cooling needs. Glazing percentage shows how much of the building structure consists of glass, which affects the building's thermal performance, hence your insulation. Standards version and software version must show the most current versions that are approved by the Energy Commission, and the link to the Energy Commission's latest is in the video description. The Compliance Results section of the Energy Document outlines three outcomes. It confirms that your building's design complies with the performance standards set out by the Energy Code. It also indicates whether your building includes features that require field testing or verification by a home energy rating system. It also notes if your building incorporates any special features that go beyond the basic requirements. And again, keep in mind that detailed tables later in the document will provide specifics of the HERS testing and special features that the project includes.